Hello and welcome to the highlights of KFC Presents Dafa News Pakistan vs New Zealand Test Series. It's the first test and day four from the National Bank Cricket Arena in Karachi. Let's join the action. Big day in store for both sides. Pakistan need early wickets. Can they produce them? So both these players have to start again. A little bit of stiffness. Let's get that first one out of the way. It's some width and Sodi puts it away. Behind square on the offside for four. Williamson, first signs of aggression down the track and... He's always in control when he's hitting over the top. Ah! Ah! Alim Dar thinks that's out. Williamson goes upstairs straight away. Alim, I recommend you to change your original out decision. Yes. Set through the offside, times it well enough. At least three, possibly four. I think that will be four. Slashed, slashed hard and threw the fielders for four. Shot. It was full and he's given the full face of the bat. Nicely driven from Saudi. And the moment's gone. And the moment that has arrived is for lunch. Yeah, this time around, he's tossed it up and it's two full. It's been hit behind point. Pulls it leg side, wide open spaces. He'll get a boundary. Poor delivery and dispatched. Where does that leave you? Oh, it leaves New Zealand with a fifth, with a four. Also bring up Ish Sodi's 50. 4.50 in Test Match Cricket, and it's been quite secure today. They beautifully played. This time around, he just eases it past to third, gets a boundary and gets to 150. Oh, beautifully played. Kane Williamson picks up another boundary. A little bit of aggression shown. There is the reverse sweep, and I think that'll race away for four. Nicely played. Pulled away nicely, and he's got hold of it, he's got it in the gap. The short ball, it was as if he was expecting that. In the air, catch it is the call. And there you go. Third straight up, and should be another one. Sean Masood underneath it and takes the catch comfortably. So Saudi goes without scoring. And he's tried it again and that's off the glove and he's on his way. Another one out to the reverse sweep. Williamson goes straight down the ground. That is a wonderful shot. It's gone all the way as well. 600 comes up. Williamson in to the 190s. Yet another test match double century for this genius of a batter from New Zealand. Kane Williamson. He now goes past Brendan McCullum with five test match double centuries. The most for any player in the Silver Fern. And Tim Southey has said that is enough. Kane, you can have your 200, you can have your not out. You can remain with that average above 54 in Test Match Cricket. You have done a magnificent job.
Well, Pakistan trail by 174. Start of their second innings. Nicely bowled. It's the seam. The outside edge found, but straight to ground and to the fence. First boundary of the innings. Falls wide. He's hit it. He's got to it. Yes, Patel saw him coming, tried to throw it, float it even wider, but Imam up to it. A full toss put away. Another one inviting, another one floated, another one timed by Imam. Nicely played, just waited on a little bit of width and cuts it away behind point for four. Chance, yes! chance and taken. Phillips is the man as well. Substitute on the field. And Michael Bracewell has picked up New Zealand's first. Down the track, Iman once more. Lovely use of the feet into the fence offside. <laughs> Appeal, he's gone back. Alim Dar, yes. And looked very adjacent from round the wicket. Chan Masood has gone back onto his stumps. Hit it. Oh, <laughs> almost hit it straight to the man. But he's gone to the fence for four. Oh, oh, yes. The fence survives. So, an end of a fine session. New Zealand applying a lot of pressure. It's been a good day for them.